It's been a little while since I've posted anything and the main reason is my camera broke and it took a long time to get it replaced but finally got a new camera and today I want to make a video and show you guys a project I've been working on and it's a homemade mullet smoker. I've been wanting to get into starting to sell um, smoked mullet and I needed a bigger smoker and so I used um, just a bunch of stuff I had laying around and made a smoker and this is it right here and really didn't buy anything except for some hardware and a couple um, temperature gauges here but this was a table this was the top of a stainless steel table that I got for free some years ago had it sitting in my property I knew I'd use it one day it was sort of a table with a cabinet on the bottom and then I had some other stuff laying around and so I have rigged it up it is propane power this is a propane burner that I had um, extra for um, cooking stone crab claws and then I had an old smoker that was all rusted out and I used that for the chimney here but today I am getting ready to um, test this out I have my boat here with some mullet I caught um, and so I'm gonna clean those up and give this thing a trial run got my boat here at home And I went out on, what was it, Friday, Thursday, two days ago, caught a few mullet, didn't do too well, maybe 100 pounds, have them well iced. I'm gonna grab, I don't know, probably about 10 of these and clean them up for the smoker. Usually when I'm smoking mullet, I'll just cut their heads off and split them down the back. But with these mullet, I'm going to be making spread. And I found for me, it just, um, it works better to fillet and debone them. And that way, um, it's a lot less picking later on to get all the bones out of it. It just makes it easier. And so that's what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna fillet these, debone them, leave the skin on, and then throw them on the smoker. it is there's my fillet cut out the pin bones here just a little V so that's all boneless and I'll put these on the racks to be seasoned and thrown on the smoker well, I have 12 mullet filleted and laid out on these racks and now I'm going to be seasoning them we will start with a marinade that I made and this is soy sauce olive oil garlic um, lemon zest, red pepper, sriracha, and mangrove honey from our bees. And I'm just gonna start by brushing this on the flays. It's kind of a marinade, it's gonna soak in there, give some flavor. And then I'm gonna finish it with some Old Bay seasoning. These are all seasoned up. And I think they're looking pretty good. I'm going to fire up this smoker. What I have here is a stainless steel pan for wood chips. Still have a few in here. I'm going to dump these over here. Hmm. These are hickory. I don't want to use hickory. I'm just going to put these right here for now. And then I got some apple wood chips. I'm gonna be using at a slight detour my propane tank was running low so I ran up and grabbed another one just restarted it 
and I am right up to 200 degrees and I see smoke starting to come out so I'm gonna grab these fish throw them in the smoker excited about giving this its first test run it was quite a bit of work putting this together a couple day project oh yeah it's smoking good now time to start smoking temps getting a little bit high just over 250 on the top 250 on the bottom so I'm gonna adjust it down just a little bit oh yeah it's a lot of smoke there we go let me get these fish in there. Oops. Messed up. The whole pan's not supposed to go in there. Just the rack. Shut them up. There we go. Set my timer for two hours and let them smoke. So it's been just over an hour. It's holding a pretty good temperature. Right above 200 some smoke going took a little adjusting to get the smoke right I added a second little smoke pan there it's looking pretty good looking real good a little while longer we'll be ready to test out my two-hour timer just went off and right before storm got here so I'm gonna go Get these mullet out of the smoker and make some dip. Still holding right about 225. Turn this off. Check these guys out. Ooh, that looks good. Came out perfect. Still got some smoke going. these and put them on the pans here and bring them inside I would say this first round on the smoker was a success. That was 12 mullet and it barely used up any room in here. I could smoke a pile of mullet in this thing. And I will. <laughs> it's rigged up, but it works. All right, make sure that's off, and I'm going to bring these inside and start making dip. Getting ready to make this dip, and I'm using a sour cream and cream cheese base. 
I have half a chopped red onion, have a red bell pepper, jalapeno, and celery chopped up here. Gonna use some of the Wickles Wicked Pickle Chips, which I really like. Also some mangrove honey, sriracha, and soy sauce. And I got a helper. You ready to see the fish? You say fish? So one of the reasons I like filleting them when I'm making dip rather than just splitting them is they don't have any bones and it's real easy to get the meat. I just take my spatula, usually slides pretty easily right off the skin like that. That's just all meat, no bones. Put it right in the bowl and repeat. A lot less picking work involved. So my little baby just came up and pulled a piece of jalapeno off here and ate it. His mouth is burning. But this mullet is really tasting good. Just the right amount of smokiness. A little kick to it. It's awesome. It's gonna make some good spread. I got all the meat off these mullet into a big bowl. Now I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit and start mixing in ingredients. Everything's getting mixed up. It's just about done. Just tasting it and seasoning as I need to. It's all done. Getting tested by Simeon. Simeon, where are you going? Wait. It's really good. Awesome. Even Elias likes it. He has it mixed in with his noodles. Is it yummy? Is it yummy? And there it is. First batch of mullet dip on the new smoker. And it is yummy.